Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I was passing, as I've been down to the flower shop to buy some uh, organic produce down at Godston. And on the way back, I've been wanting to come back here. I was here in June 2019, and I've come back to St. Lawrence's Church in Caterham on the Hill, which is opposite the newer church of St. Mary's. So this is the original church built before, probably before 1095. So very, very ancient. And um, yeah, I was here, say, June 2019, but we'll have a look around again as I was passing and the beautiful day today, 21 degrees, and we're nearly into October. So loving it. It won't be open, because it's only open for certain occasions. It's not, I don't think it's used for worship anymore, when you've got St Mary's um, opposite. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've always felt drawn to come back here. I mean, obviously you've got the, the traffic on a busy road going down into Caterham. But say, it's, a, it's a lovely church to look at. surviving Victorian grave ball in the churchyard, isn't that amazing? No, it's shut, but I thought it was going to be. That's a shame. It says it's actually open on Sunday, 1st of October, for harvest, so um, that'd be interesting, but I'm working, so can't do it. I just wanted to show you, apparently this church, as I said before, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself from other videos. Oh, sun glare, whoa, come around this side. Um, there's some medieval graffiti around, but I don't know quite know where it is. It was discovered by a chap um, a few years back. Whether it is medieval and not wishful thinking, I mean, I've looked at some of the pictures and I'm not so sure. I think, you know, we are very much pattern seeking mammals, aren't we? So we're always looking at patterns in things that aren't there. But um, yeah. Apparently so there's one in the port as well, I'm going to look for it. Oh yeah, there it is. I think they said it looks like a bird. I don't think it is, I think it's just... I don't know, it could be, it's hard to say. And it probably won't come up very well on camera, but I'll let you draw your own conclusions on that one. Now this is part of actually the house opposite. But I love this stone wall. Fantastic stone wall. So yeah, September the 29th, 2023, and it's 21 degrees. Love it. I really leave my, I've got shorts on, and I, I really, I keep them on as long as I possibly can. I don't really like wearing um, jeans or long, long, long pants as we say in as they say in America um, and I feel the cold less and less these days because of uh, maybe the breath work I don't know um, but it is interesting so as I say it's a busy road here there's constant traffic going going through um, I just wanted to come here as so I was stopping I've got lunch booked at the boundary on the green over in Coulston Never been there before, so um, that would be nice. I also said in the last video, um, apparently there's a ley line that goes through this church that interacts with a lot of other churches, like the one over at Chaldon. And I talked about this in the previous video. Um, I haven't bought my dowsing rods, didn't have them with me today, so, um, but I think I did douse a little bit on the previous video. So yeah, I mean, I've, I've said many times before, at the risk of boring people, is I do think, you know, why are these churches and play ancient sites built where they are, you know. So that, so Mary's opposite could very well be on the same energy current. Bear in mind, ley line and, and energy current are slightly different things, but they're all connected. So yeah, I might have to come here and do a bit of dowsing at some point, I think. So the Church of St Mary's was built in the late Victorian period 
that that's cater and grew the town, this parish, this church, couldn't handle the numbers and it fell into disrepair but was um, renovated in the 1960s once the other church had come into its own. So it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. One of my, one of my uh, favourites. I do love a flint church, a lovely flint church. This is interesting, I didn't know this before. Ancient roses. Roses are known around the Mediterranean Sea uh, in classical Greek and Roman times. And we've got a load of ancient uh, rose petals and bushes originating from the 15th century. So that's interesting. So I know I'm repeating a video from four years ago. But on a beautiful, I think it was a beautiful day before as well when I was here. That was June 2019. But we'll just pop along across the road to St Mary's. Obviously that's a much newer church. Um, I think there's something going on because there's a lot of cars parked up, they're probably doing some service. But we'll have a quick look around and have a look around the uh, churchyard. When I came here before, it was a very vast graveyard. Very nice. Nice to get away from the hum of the road. And just walk around. I think there's a little path that leads down to a little road. There's the Caterham Hills over the back there. God, it's warm. I can't believe it's nearly October. Although I remember going to Avebury a few years back and I was in a t-shirt, that was mid-October. So, um, I'm, I like hot weather and warm weather. Yeah. It's a bit bleached down, it's Caterham Valley. Down there, up in Caterham on the hill. Um, yeah, it's a vast churchyard. As you can say, you can tell by the size of the churchyard in St. Lawrence's and here, as the town grew and expanded. We well, think of Caterham as a very um, modern town. Oh yeah, here's that little stairway down to the road, this little road. Probably doesn't go anywhere. Should have looked on the map before I came. Oh, I could look on my phone, couldn't I? Yeah, this packs on to a little pathway to a little bit of woodland, which is nice. Yeah, I remember coming here before. Even into nearly October, I say I'm still seeing f massive bees doing their thing. Thank you for your service, bees. Um, I mean, this is late May, early June weather, really. Well, there you have it. A little stroll back 
at St Lawrence's Church and St Mary's Church in Caterham on the hill. Yeah, it'd be nice to come back. Sorry if I'm just repeating myself. But uh, yeah, I was passing. I thought, hey, why not? So let's go down to Colston, to the boundary on the green. Looks a nice little pub and uh, have a pub lunch. How does that sound? So thanks for joining me for a return to St Lawrence's Church and St Mary's Church. A revisit after four years and a lovely lunch. I had an eight ounce uh, sirloin steak in the uh, boundary on the green. A nice chat with some of the staff there about ecoterical things. Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, lovely. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I know I've been to these places before. Uh, but please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care.